to today's video my name is amy if you're new here and today i'm going to be styling a cord that i got made for me three different ways now if you haven't gone and gone if you haven't seen the video of me getting this cord made just for a brief little background story although i do recommend going and seeing that video basically my nan passed away last december and she had these really funky curtains up in her lounge so i took them curtains to a dressmaker and asked her to make me a cord out of them it was quite expensive so i want to try and get as much money like worth out of these so i'm going to style them in three in six different ways um three different top versions and three different bottom versions so just to kind of show how you can wear your pieces in different ways especially if it is something like a cord you don't always have to wear them pieces together you can always split them up and wear them individually so without further ado let's get into the video so the first way i paired these trousers they're just this brown bodysuit this bodysuit is one of my absolute staples it's originally stratovarius but i got it from sense for about six pounds and it is just the perfect kind of seamless bodysuit that goes with more or less any pair of trousers and these are exactly the same i think the brown in this bodysuit pulls the brown in the curtains out beautifully i feel like you could pair a cute belt with this a cute bag a nice jacket and you'd be ready to go i really like how the colors complement each other and the top is more seamless and kind of figure hugging and the trousers are more loose and like not as fitted and i just think this is a really cute way of pairing this this top in fact was one of the main reasons i could persuade my mum into thinking that the curtains would look good as clothes i held this bodysuit up against the curtain material and you could just see really clearly how the colors complemented each other and i feel like from that she could kind of see that this would work really well as a cord as well as a pair of curtains so i think this is a really cute look and this is my first look so here is my second way of styling these trousers bit better for kind of the autumn winter seasons but i've just chucked on this brown ralph lauren jumper i got this from cancer research for about 12 pounds i think quite a long time ago and i feel like the color in this is super neutral but again it kind of pulls out the kind of lighter stripes in the trousers and again i think this fits really nice obviously this does mean that two things and more oversized and not as fitted but i do think that's really cute and i'm really trying to challenge in my head the whole things have to be really flattering narrative that we've kind of given ourselves i really hate that and i feel like sometimes i do want to wear two more baggier items but i think this looks really cute together and this is definitely a nice neutral outfit and i feel like neutrals is the way to go when you've got a pattern this loud but i think this is a really cute little combination and i really like this one here is the third top to go with the trousers i thought this one might be my favorite this is a wild card that kind of just tucked in there but i really love this kind of oversized everything very floaty and i don't know it feels very relaxed and i really love that look together i just thought this works i thought this is very model off duty in my head i feel like kind of things that were all kind of floaty is just gorgeous in fact my friend ella who is a model she has been on this channel before go and check out that video she often wears two very floaty items and just looks stunning and i feel like us mid to plus size galleys don't really do this look as much i think we save it for the more slimmer people but i feel like this work look works on a more plus or mid-sized body and i really like this i think this is really cute again cute accessories could jazz this up if you wanted but i think this look by itself with some very simple shoes is really classy and how am i classed up the curtain trousers i don't know but i think this works really well okay so here is the first look in the top and i don't know if i'm gonna be able to top this because you know what i paired with them my favorite slinky flared trousers i wear these more or less every time i go out because they are so so flattering and they go with so many different style tops and this is no exception i feel like this just looks so cute i love the kind of halter style of this i'm really glad i went with this style and i'm really glad i finally got a halter neck top i don't feel like i'm going to spew out the sides of she made sure the sides the kind of sides were quite high up and made sure i had enough full coverage on my chest i equally could kind of hike my boobs up if i want to but you know the saggy boobs need love too and i feel like this looks really cute she made sure to make this thick enough that kind of my nipples weren't going to pop out but 
I think this looks so cute with my flares. I feel very 70s in this, but equally not like I'm going to a fancy dress 70s. I'm very much like, this is cool 70s. I feel like with my kind of chunky um, heels sandals, this look really cute. Or some like cute chunky boots. But oh my gosh, this is so cute. And it's gonna be hard to top. So for the second look, I've paired it with my leather skirt. I got this one on Depop. Oh, and also I forgot to mention that the last trousers, they were also from Depop. Um, I think this skirt is so flattering anyway, but I think it's, it's really cute with this top again. It's giving sexy secretary. This is what this skirt always gives me that vibe with whatever I put on top. I think this is really cute. I have kind of tucked in at the top. I made it look more like a bodysuit and I felt that works really well. But yeah, I feel like this is really cute. This skirt is again, very plain and it's easy to kind of pair with a lot of different things. But I feel like with the halter neck style, it just, I don't know, it brings it up, gives more like attention upwards. I don't know, I think this is really cute. Again, I feel like this is more going out, chuck on a pair of heels and I'd be ready to go. I also think this kind of takes out any element of 70s on this. I feel like this just looks like a really cute patterned kind of halter with a cute skirt. I feel like it doesn't look fancy dress at all. And I think this is so cute. I also feel like how this skirt is quite fitted and I don't know, quite a lot of black and quite a big block. I feel like then the backless element of this, kind of all the backless-ish element of this gives it a little bit of something, something. I don't know, this is really cute. And I really like the way this one is styled also. Last but not least, the jeans have come through. Now I feel like you can pair anything with a pair of black jeans. Any top will look nice with a pair of black jeans and this is no exception again. I feel like this, may even, I may even prefer this to the flares. I'm not saying something. I don't think it's just because jeans make it slightly more casual. Maybe because the jeans actually fit me. Although I love them slinky trousers, they are far too long for me, so I always have to wear heels. Whereas this, I could chuck on some trainers with this, I could chuck on some sandals, some flats, and I am ready to go. I feel like this is also one that is slightly more casual, but also I could go to the pub in this, get some drinks. I feel like the gold kind of detail in this makes it slightly festive. So if I could totally get away with this for a more of a festive occasion, but this is so cute. Again, it could chuck on like a cute belt with this maybe. I brought in a nice white belt with like a gold buckle. That could look really cute. And then maybe a white handbag and just pull the kind of white and golds out of this. I feel like it could look really cute, but I feel like with the jeans, this is perfect. Again, I said more casual maybe. I feel like although we are totally not even near the season, in fact, we're probably as far away from the season as we can get, this would be perfect for like a barbecue. This is giving barbecue in the summer vibes. Give me a cocktail. I don't know, this is giving me that vibe. I'm not quite sure why. I did just say it was also giving me festive vibes. So it's a versatile piece, but I like it with the jeans. I really like these jeans actually. They're from m and I don't really normally buy stuff or even talk about new stuff on here, but they are from m and um, and they are really nice. If you do struggle to find jeans, m and gets a medium rating on Good On You, which is about as good as you're gonna get in the high street. Um, but I thought I'd mention that in case you guys are wondering. But I love this. Again, I feel like if you are someone that has boobs, don't sit super perky and upright, this is your sign to get that halter neck dress, get the thing that you can't really wear a bra with and wear it because ultimately, saggy boobs need love too. And I think they're really cute. And I feel like this is a vibe, we've got some cleavage going on. As I said though, I could do this more without the cleavage. I feel like you can, you can sort of tie yourself in in a way that gives them a bit more upright, whatever you wanna do, but this is so cute. And this is actually the last outfit of this video. So I really hope you enjoyed it. Let me know, one, two, three, four, five or six, what was your favorite look with grand curtains? If you wanna see how the process of getting this piece made and the trousers, then definitely go and check out that video where I speak to you in kind of full detail of how I went from a pair of curtains to a cute cardboard and what the process of that was like, how much it costs, if it's something, kind of weigh out the pros and cons of it. So if you'd like to see that video, then definitely go and check it out. I posted it a couple of weeks ago. And again, thank you to Tracy for making this very cute outfit. It's so, very cute. And I feel like I need to find some occasions now to wear this. So I'll see you in my next one. Bye.